From the moment you first set foot in one of FIFA 13's beautifully detailed stadiums, it's clear that EA's latest football outing isn't the revelation that its predecessor was. Nelly! And there it is for Manchester United. Sure, it's still feature-packed and entertaining, but where FIFA 12 revolutionised and updated the classic FIFA formula, FIFA 13 merely maintains it. The old cliche, isn't it? Class is permanent. He's got the class. Indeed, some of FIFA 13's new marquee features are mere tweaks of those introduced in FIFA 12. The infamous player impact engine has been overhauled in an attempt to reduce those odd, fumbling and sometimes hilarious collisions. But while there's certainly a noticeable improvement in the physics system, it's not invaluable. Better are the changes to the dribbling system, which have been inspired by the work done on FIFA Street. Now you can swirl the ball around a player's feet using the analogue stick, teasing defenders with cheeky dummies, stops and skillful flicks. The system works great with another tweak that means players no longer have to face the direction in which you want them to dribble. This makes play look and feel much more natural, letting you actively shield the ball or ensure you're always facing the goal when zipping around defenders for the perfect strike. A goal for LA Galaxy. First Touch also has an added air of realism, thanks to a new system that attempts to stop the uncannily skillful control that players had when receiving a ball. Now factors such as the height of the pass, its speed and the statistics of players themselves are taken into account when players receive the ball. Without the guarantee of player control, you're forced to rethink passes and strategies in order to keep possession. The on-pitch action is some of the smoothest and most enjoyable the FIFA series has created. The AI makes better, more intelligent runs and the tactical defending system now takes into account player size meaning larger players can strong-arm the ball from weaker ones or fight off defenders better. Silky manoeuvres and swift runs down the pitch are much more realistic, while goals look spectacular thanks to some great visuals and highly stylized replays that replicate the magic of watching a match on TV. FIFA 13 smoothness comes at a price though, it's difficult to shake the feeling that you're not always directly in control of the action. Players race across the pitch like a finely tuned machine, creating spectacular looking goals that are sailing to the back of the net with ease. Perhaps too much ease. It's still all too easy to make quick runs down the centre of the pitch past reams of defenders or score from a devastating volley off a set piece. Yes, this smoothness results in some great looking plays but it stands in stark contrast to the gameplay in this year's much improved PES, which makes you work harder to put one in the back of the net, and satisfyingly so. When it comes to the action off the pitch, FIFA 13 sticks to what it knows, improving on existing game modes. The majorly addictive Ultimate Team mode, FIFA's mix of role-playing game like card trading, top trumps and football management has seen numerous tweaks that make it even more compelling than before. Modes like head-to-head -head seasons, online friendlies, virtual pro and manager all return largely untouched. There are some additions though, including presentational tweaks that make menus easier to navigate, the ability to get international jobs in manager mode, and a refined transfer system that's more competitive and gives you much more freedom to sign new players. The biggest and best change is the inclusion of up-to-date real-world statistics for teams, which are updated weekly and can be taken into account before the start of a match. Wins and losses that your team has had in the real world are displayed along with increased or decreased attack, midfield and defensive stats depending on the team's performance and injuries. Tying the whole thing together is EA Sports Football Club which this year gets the addition of a shop where you can use money earned from playing the game to purchase vanity items like boots, kits and goal celebrations. As with most vanity items their value isn't immediately apparent but when you take your teams to compete online, those little things that make them stand out from the crowd suddenly become a big deal. Even more of a big deal are the new skill games, which replace the old keeper versus player loading screens of the past. You're now treated to bite-sized challenges, such as having to score as many goals as possible in two minutes in various scenarios and places on the pitch, or kick a lob pass to a certain zone. These quick challenges are lots of fun and help to teach you some of the fundamentals of the game. They get very tricky too, which makes them addictive, and you may find yourself spending more time completing the challenges than you do playing on the pitch.
While the skill games are an excellent addition, they're also the only major one. FIFA 13 is mostly a collection of subtle tweaks and ideas that, while an improvement, aren't all that essential, particularly for casual players. And there's no getting away from the fact that Pez has made serious strides in its gameplay this year, offering up a very credible alternative to EA's footballing juggernaut. But until Pez can get the rest of its act together, FIFA Soccer 13 remains the best football game on the market. Beautifully presented, in depth, and a hell of a lot of fun. Oh, he's going to shoot now. Super goal. First shot, first goal. We're off and running here.